Hello. Um, so I hope everyone had a good 4th of July. Um, so recently my kids and I and my husband played the game, the board game Clue. I'm sure almost everyone here has heard of Clue or played the board game. So if you're just a refresher, so the, the point of the, of the game Clue is to figure out who did it in what room and with what weapon. So I'm, I kind of created a let's see who, where, and what um, using logic um, puzzles. So, let, so what we're going to do is I'll read off the clues and we'll create a graph to kind of a, um, do elimination, kind of like story problems. Um, and we'll see if, based off of the clues, if you guys can um, guess who did it, um, where, and with what weapon. So, I apologize for the fine print, but if you look below, I will have an enlarged um, picture showing the clues. So, clue one, it says, Mrs. Scarlet and Professor Plum are married, but one of them has a temper. Okay. Clue number two. Mrs. White never learned to tie a knot with a rope. However, she carries a pistol in her purse. Mr. Green has a lot of candlesticks in his study. Okay, we'll go back to, we'll come back to these clues and, and organize our information. Clue number three. Colonel Mustard didn't want to attend the party, but has a grudge toward another guest that goes back to childhood. Clue number four. Mr. Green and Colonel Mustard are business partners. Mr. Green informed the only wife at the party, Colonel Mustard needs to have a conversation with her husband. There is only one couple, this is clue number five, I'm sorry, clue no, number five. There is only one couple in attendance. The guests are visiting in the ballroom. Clue six. Mrs. White has visited with everyone but Mr. Green, who is hiding in his study. Interesting that the host is hiding in the study. Clue seven. Mrs. Scarlet tells her husband to go speak with Mr. Green, then come find her in the courtyard. We're going to move over here. Clue eight. After visiting with Mr. Green, Professor Plum stays in the room to meditate while Mr. Green returns to hosting after he grabs hors d'oeuvres from the kitchen before they are served. Pretty greedy. Clue number nine. Professor Plum is to be blamed for another guest getting busted for shoplifting years ago. In clue 10, Mr. Mustard goes outside for fresh air after a heated confrontation. Okay, so let's kind of narrow it down. Who could possibly be the, the suspects? We're going to move this over so you can see I'm going to move it up a little bit closer. So we have, let's just go from clue to clue. So clue one, Scarlet, Miss Scarlet and Professor Plum. So we have, so we'll put the who, if I can do this on this easel. The who, let's see if I can get another marker. 
so you can see better. Okay. We have the who. So who did it? We have Scarlet. We have Plum. Clues to um it states that Mrs. White, there's a Mrs. White and Mr. Green. So there's white. And green and then in clue four we know that there's a kernel kernel mustard so there's a mustard okay so let's now um, determine the where's so we're gonna put where um, Okay, and we have the kitchen, because remember, green got the hors d'oeuvres, okay? We have what? The ballroom is where they met. Okay. We read that Mr. Green was hiding somewhere. Where, where was he hiding? The study, okay, and there's one more. So we learned that um, Scarlet asked, her, tells her husband to come find her in the in the outside in the court in the courtyard. I hope I'm sorry that this is so small. But I will zoom in. Okay. So I'll just make lines to make a grid. You guys can do this at home if you want. Okay, and I'm just going to create this across. Okay. My marker is just not dark enough. Okay. And then down here we'll put the weapons. So what weapons we know possibly could be involved? Mrs. White never learned how to tie a knot with rope. So we have a rope. Okay. We have candlesticks. There's one more, a pistol, okay? So there's are the three possible options. Okay, so let's go through the clues again and then we'll kind of mark them off, okay? So anytime that someone is has some type of involvement with a, with a, a a room and or the candlestick we're going to make an x okay and anyone that has no involvement in in either one of them we're going to make is an o okay so let's go through clues again clue one miss miss scarlet and professor Plummer married but one of them has a temper so we don't know, you know, what room or what kind that they had access to in clue number one. And clue number two, Mrs. White never learned to tie a knot. There we go. So Mrs. White had some, had some type of um, connection with the rope. So we're going to put white down here, okay? Okay. And then she says, however, she carries a pistol in her purse. So we're going to put white under the pistol. Okay. 
wonder what happened, why she needs to carry a pistol. But we'll read on. Clue three. Carl Mustard didn't want to attend the party, but has a grudge toward another guest. Oh, okay, remember clue three. Okay, clue three might need to come back to. Because if someone's going to use a weapon in some type of um, confrontation, it would probably be because there's a grudge involved, right? Clue four, it says, Mr. Green and Colonel Mustard are business partners. Mr. Green informs the only wife at the party, Colonel Mustard needs to have a conversation with her husband. Okay. And it says, so that kind of gives us three and four kind of clues that we need to come back to with once we have more information, I think. Clue five, there is only one couple in attendance. Okay. Do you remember what clue number one said? It's, it has to do with the couple. So who are the two people that are married in clue number one? Mrs. Scarlet and Professor Plum. So I'm just gonna make kind of a heart shape right here just to know that that's a couple, okay? And Colonel Mustard has a, an, kind of a angry towards someone. So I put a heart with a slash through it by his name. The guest, and then in clue number five, it also says the guests are visiting in the ballroom. So we're gonna put an X on, on all the attendees, okay? Because at some point during the party, they were all in the ballroom. Clue six, Mrs. White has visited with everyone but Mr. Green, who is hiding in his study. So right now we know that Mr. Green is, has been the only one that has been in the study. Clue number eight, after visiting with Mr. Green, Professor Plum stays in the room to meditate while Mr. Green returns to hosting. Okay, so where was Mr. Green? The study, so we now know that Plum was in the study, okay? Um, and then clue eight says, um, Mr. Green, before he returns to hosting, he grabs the hors d'oeuvres in the kitchen. So, so far we know that Mr. Green was in the kitchen, okay? Clue 10, Mr. Mustard goes outside for fresh air after a heated confrontation. So Mustard was in the courtyard, okay? Oh, that doesn't give us much information. Now let's go back and kind of reread some of these clues. So we're gonna go back to clue seven. It says, Mrs. Scarlet tells her husband to go speak with Mr. Green, then come find her in the courtyard. So we know that Scarlet either is going to be in the courtyard or is in the courtyard. So we're going to make an X here. Okay. Okay, so out of all the clues, we know that Mr. Green has been the only one in the kitchen. So I'm going to make an O next to everyone else in the kitchen, okay? We know that Mrs. White was never in the study because she never she hasn't spoken to mr green and we know that scarlet never went to the study because she told her husband to go talk to mr green in the study um and we're not quite sure where mustard falls if mustard's been in the study or not so we're just going to kind of leave that blank and in all the clues we know that only scarlet and mustard um and Professor Plum, at some point, went to the courtyard or was requested to be in the courtyard. Okay. Okay, so where were the candlesticks? What clue did we learn where the candlesticks were? In clue number two, right? It says, Mr. Green has a lot of candlesticks in his study. So who was in the study with the candlesticks? Plum, 
green, of course. He was hiding there and mustard. Okay. So I want to go back. It says, so we know that Ms. Professor Plum has a temper. Okay, that's kind of key from clue number one. And we also learned that someone had a grudge toward another guest. Okay. And then it also included number nine. It said that Professor Plum is to be blamed for another guest getting busted for shoplifting. And remember it said over here that there's a grudge that goes back to childhood. And that's why Mr. Or Colonel Mustard holds a grudge. Interesting. So, if Mustard holds a grudge, okay, the, and Plum has a temper, let's see if those two, two guests have anything to, that matches. Well, let's see. They weren't in the kitchen together because we know that only Green went in the kitchen. Um, so everyone was in the ballroom. Who would hurt someone in front of everyone else? Unless they want to, you know, be caught. The study. Okay, so the study, we know that Plum and Green were in the study. But we don't know if Mustard has been in the study. It says that... In clue four, though, it says Mr. Green and Colonel Mustard are business partners, okay? Mr. Green informs the only wife, and who's the wife? Scarlet. So, Mr. Green informs Miss Scarlet, Mrs. Scarlet, Colonel Mustard needs to have a conversation with her husband. Okay, so maybe Colonel Mustard happened to talk to Professor Plum, the husband, in the study, okay? Or it could be the courtyard, okay? But if, so the only places that Plum and Mustard, who seem to be, have the um, kind of anger toward each other for some reason because of a childhood grudge, mishap, if you call it, that was plum and mustard. Okay. But which one, which one? Okay. So we know that, it, so we'll eliminate scarlet, white, and green. So we're looking at plum and mustard. So plum and mustard were in the study or courtyard. But where were the, where does plum and mustard have access to the same weapon? In the clues we read that only white had um, connection with the rope. We're looking at plum and mustard. We know that white was the only one that was carrying a pistol. And we know that plum, green, and mustard had access to the candlesticks. So where were the candlesticks again? They were in the study. So we'll come back here. So where do we think this confrontation happened? In the study, right? And then um, with what? The candlesticks, of course. And who? Okay. So we know that mustard holds a grudge, but plum has a temper. The so clue 10 says, Mr. Mustard goes outside for fresh air after a heated confrontation. Apparently, 
Professor Plum never made it to see his wife. So he's still on the, um, the study. So who do you think started the confrontation? It is, it is Colonel Mustard. Because Mustard... Mustard was the one that held the grudge, right? Yeah, Plum had a temper, but it, we learned in Clue through that Colonel Mustard had a grudge toward another guest. And when someone has a grudge, they might want to get even. And we also learned that Professor Plum was the one to be, to bl to be blamed for um, getting another guest arrested. So I would think that Ma Colonel Mushab would be the one that wanted to start the confrontation. So again, I'm gonna, if you made this, this guess, you're right. Mustard started the confrontation in the study with the candlesticks. I hope you enjoyed this. We might come back and do another logic puzzle again. I hope you have a good day.